Okay, hi, good morning everyone. What kind of balance you want a succulent? Um, <laughs> hopefully it won't be too shaky. We are going charity shopping today. Um, we are, this is like an ordinary day for us to go charity shopping. I've just dropped Olive off. Ooh, I've just dropped Olive off at school and it's about nine o'clock. Jamie's just finishing his breakfast. We've got one UPS box to drop off for Amazon. And um, <clears throat> so what we'll do is we pick a town uh, and we'll spend up until about half two going around that, uh, around that town trying to find um, items to resell on eBay. And um, hopefully today I would ideally like to pick up around 40 items or so. Um, it'd be great if I could get to 60, 70. That would be great. But yeah, probably more like 40. Yeah, so we tend to pick one town each week, go around it whilst the car boots aren't on, uh, go around and... Uh, and visit all the, the charity shops within that town and then we need to leave always really about half two time to get home uh, in time for the school run we've got swimming lessons later as well so let's go and hopefully we can find some good stuff Okay, ended up having uh, a good day today, really good day. Uh, it was just one shop that turned it all around for me, basically. I don't have time now to do a haul. I would love to do a sit down proper haul, uh, but we've got swimming lessons and then the light is gonna go. So I will try and do it quickly before everything gets photographed tomorrow uh, and listed over the next few days. I wanna get all this stuff listed ASAP because half term, half term next week. So yes, let's hopefully I'll be able to do a haul. Okay, so good morning. It's now uh, the next morning. I have got a quick 20 minutes, so I'm going to quickly just run through uh, the stuff that I picked up yesterday. I'll start, I think I'll go shop by shop. I've got a bit of a cold, so sorry if I'm like sniffling. Yeah, it's just sort of got worse overnight. Anyway, first shop I went into, I got this sheep jumper. It's next, it's size six, but it's quite oversized. I paid £4.50 for it. So it is a Christmas jumper and it's February now, so I'll probably be waiting a while on this. But the comps on this are quite good. Definitely between 20 and, I mean, someone on auction in November, uh, you know, just before Christmas, best time really, isn't it, to sell it. Uh, got 26 on this one, so yeah, happy with that. Yeah, it's very oversized and I think what I think it's about 15% wool. So what I'll do is I will, I'm going to list it now. I'm going to put it on for 25, just see what happens. I don't expect it to sell in the next six months for obvious reasons. Next, I paid £5 for this Tesco's jumper. It's 100% cashmere. I would hope to get £20 back on that one. In fact, yeah, that, that should just be a solid 20, I think. In the next shop, Maximois. I've not heard of this brand before, but I think it's quite a good brand. The front part is 100% cashmere and the back part is silk. It needs a little bit of debobbling on, on it. You can see it's a little bit bobbly there, but that should be quite easy to uh, to get rid of. So I paid £4 for that one. And uh, yeah, it's a quite a nice brand, but I've not, I'm, I'm not heard of it. I drafted some of these last night and I think I've gone for 25 or 35 on that one. And then... Uh, this Avoca women's coat, it's 60% wool, something like, I think is it, the rest is cashmere and angora basically, so all three really nice fabric content materials there. Uh, so it's just a woman's red jacket and I paid £5 for it. Oh, maybe this came from a different shop, but anyway, I paid £5 for it. I would think between the £25 to £40 range for that one i haven't done any research on it properly yet so but i would i would imagine around that and then i got this shirt here i don't know how you pronounce it Villag. i don't know i don't know how you pronounce that uh but i paid five pounds for it it's <laughs> just dropped it on the floor there uh it's got i mean it's got bicycle print with a moose riding it uh there's like a turtle ants little bugs and there's a uh, raccoon 
raccoon, is it? Um, wearing a bow tie. There's a koala here somewhere. Koala with a straw hat. Something with an umbrella. Yeah, so there's lots going on in this shirt. So I paid £5 for it. Uh, I think I'm going to try about 25 on this one. Again, I haven't priced this one up yet or, or done proper research. I was just quickly in the in the shop looking at it. So I think, I think I'm going to try about 25. We'll see. This Noah Noah uh, cardigan, size small. I think it's 60% mohair. I paid £4 for it. I've priced this one up already. I think I'm going to put it on at £40. I could be really way off the mark on that. Um, you know, I definitely think it should be 20 but I'm going to go a little bit higher and see. It's hooded. Um, yeah, like I say, you know, it's 60% mohair, so maybe I'll just have to wait for the right buyer on that one and, and see what happens. And then this is a brand that I've picked up once before, Manuel Canovas. Uh, I sold a dress of it and I, th I think it went for £30. I think, was that new or used? I can't remember. But anyway, this top was one ninety nine, and I'm going to price that one at 20 I think they mainly do like wallpapers and wall prints and things like that, but occasionally branch out into very bright, loud prints, very floral, bright colours with floral prints on it seems. Uh, and so then I got this Fabletics and it's new with tag, so... Um, I was happy with that. Originally it was £35 and I paid £3.50 for it. Uh, it's just a nice gym top, stretchy lilac, which is a nice colour for springtime. And I'll probably, uh, I would imagine around £20 on that. Yeah, would it be new with tags? I think £20. I think I sold a pair of used leggings for 15 and I think they sold really quick. And then some football top. You can tell I don't usually pick up the football stuff, but this was in the women's section. It's Jamie who usually picks it up. It was three ninety nine. Liverpool Football Club, size eight, just a nice sort of aqua pullover top. And yeah, Jamie just said, oh yeah, just give it a go. So we will see. This is a woman's grey dress. It's a size 20 and it's Studio 8, which I think is an offshoot of Phase 8. I think uh, I have seen this a couple of times, but I've, there's always been one issue that's maybe put me off. But I thought I'll go with this because you know, it's five pound fifty. It's a large size. It's a dress. It's in good condition. I'm going to give it a go and test the waters on this one with them. And then I found these Sorel boots and they were nine pound. That's the logo and label there. And these are called... I think they all have names in them. Uh, these are called Snow Lion. And they're a size three, so it's it's quite a small size. But I think about 30 and upwards on these ones. Yeah, it's a shame that they're not a slightly bigger size. But still worth getting, I think. And then I got this Mambo Goddess. So I think that is maybe like a, an offshoot to, you know, Mambo, the men's Mambo shirts the Australian brand, I think. And it's new with tags, I paid five pound for it. Just a black t-shirt. I mean, there's horses in there, zebras. Yeah, just some sort of, some animal prints going on in there. I haven't priced that one up yet, but I th I'm thinking around 20, 25. And this one here, this, oh, okay, so this shop gets a load of H&M X stock donated to them. I feel quite sorry for them, actually, because it doesn't seem like they always get donated stuff that is just old stuff, like uh, old season stuff. It seems like they get a lot of damaged stuff, and I can't help but think, well, why are you giving your damaged stuff to a charity shop? Yes, someone can maybe recycle it, but the shop is now just full of uh, H and M damaged goods, uh, like full to the brim, and I just I think it's a shame really that they're sending them damaged, you know, broken zip and things like that, um, rather than like you know Mar Marks and Spencers sent to Oxfam, all of their latest stuff that they you know that all of their old stock that they're unable to sell, but it's not damaged goods anyway. That was just my thought process, but in with it. Sometimes they get under the stories and cause because I have a feeling that they're all part of the same under the same house or something so they cut out 
because they're new, but they've been donated, they cut out the, the labels, but I do know that that's other stories. So it is new, but it's just labels cut out and there's no damage to this one. So I paid six pounds for it, but hopefully on that one, maybe 25 and upwards. No, probably just 25, what with the labels being cut out and there being no actual uh, new tag on it. Yeah, just a wrap dress and it's got this kind of silver coin print on it. And uh, I'll go on now to the shop where it was just like find after find. It was just, it was just so much fun. It was incredible. So uh, let me start off with, first of all, just a pair of cos trousers. Yeah, just a pair of used cos trousers. Yeah, they're black, not navy blue. I paid £4.50 for them. I would think around about that 20 to £23 mark plus post. This is a brand I've not heard of, but obviously very funky print. I think my gran used to have curtains like this. And it's a brand, which I think is Australian, called Princess Highway. Never heard of it before, but Princess Highway. And I paid £4 for those. I think I'm gonna, they're very wide leg. I think I'm gonna try about 20 pounds on these ones. Some people have been selling this brand off really cheap and then some others have been achieving quite good prices on them. So yeah, I'm gonna go in for, for 20. I mean, the picture should be amazing on these with that print on them. And then I got this Dancing Leopard, which is a brand that I probably would have ignored, except for, I'm pretty sure I remember somebody talking about it on Instagram. I think it was Chasing Secrets, Victoria, but I'm not 100% sure. So, sorry if it was you <laughs> and I haven't mentioned. But uh, yeah, so I saw this and I paid £9 for it. It's new with tags, but I think on this I'll be getting about £30 for. So it's a... Um, it's a, it's a jumpsuit and uh, yeah, it's got this leopard print on it, three quarter length sleeve, size eight. So hopefully, nearly just fell over. So hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully get about 30 pounds on that one. And then this David Napier uh, woman's jacket, house cardigan. It's new with tags, which I didn't realize actually until I got home. Yeah, so I paid five pound for it and hopefully maybe around the 25 pound mark on that one. And then I had quite a few things in my hand and I, I was supposed to research this, but forgot. So it just came with me. Miss J Copenhagen paid £4.50. I think it's linen. Very much feels like linen. Uh, yeah, just a linen top, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe I don't think I was supposed to pick that up. I should probably have left, researched that and left it. But yeah, it just got taken to the till. And um, I just ended up getting it by accident, really. Zara, uh, it's new with tags, I think. Yeah, Zara, new with tags. It's kind of like a charcoal grey, but it's got this very cute per, uh, pearl detail all around the back of it as well, in the middle. So originally it was £26 in the shop. I think I'll probably price it around about the £18 mark or so, £18 plus post, I think. And then from the same shop, I paid £3.99. It's 100% linen, size 14, um, Burberry skirt. And then I found this Peruvian connection, um, new with tags for seven pounds. And I was like, oh, brilliant. And they kind of tend to do alpaca or pima cotton. And this is 100% the alpaca, which is great. Uh, that is, that's brilliant. Um, so I found that, kept going through the rails, just very happy with that find on its own. And then I ended up finding like four more new with tag pieces. So I was just like, oh, it was just so good. They're all size small. And then these ones are all Pima cotton, which I don't think is as good as the alpaca, but all, all new with tag. So I paid £5.29 for that one, four ninety nine for that one, uh, one ninety nine for that one. And then these are a pair of trousers and I paid... Three ninety nine for them. So I was like, oh my God, like, you know, really, really happy finding all of this stuff. But then just to like top it off even more, I found three pieces of this Gudrun Sturgeon. Don't know how you pronounce the last bit. S and a J together. No. Um, yeah, I found three pieces of this and I was like, 
oh my god, I, was like, what? I, I just have a feeling they all came from the sh same like X shop stock or something. I'm not really sure, but yes, I was just blown away. So found this one first, uh, just kind of like a little waistcoat type of thing. Uh, paid £4.80 for that one. And then again, like these were new with tags, like the Peruvian connection. So I paid £6 for this one. I don't know what currency we're, we're in there, but um, paid yeah, £6.99 for that one, a minimum of 30 Uh, And again, same for the skirt. Well, I paid two ninety nine for that one, but again, I know, I know, I haven't researched or priced yet, but I know it's going to be like a minimum of thirty. So I was just like, what is? So I, I actually went to the desk. I was like, do you have any more in the back of the Peruvian Connection and the Gudrun brand? Uh, unfortunately, they said no, and I didn't know whether it was just because they couldn't be bothered to go and look or, or what. But yes, yeah, so I was just like, oh, this is amazing. It was just absolutely amazing. Um finding those eight pieces. So I ended up in the end getting 44 items uh, and each cost was, uh, and the average price was 4 99 put per item. That's quite high for me actually. So yeah, I was very happy with how yesterday went. Um, I wanna get all of this photographed and listed ASAP uh, because it's half term, so. I'll just quickly show you some stuff that Jamie got, but I'll just show you the brands because uh, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what he does with his own stuff, but he got this Pilcrow in the letterpress, which I think is an anthropology brand. They're a women's, but they were in the men's. I think they're women's anyway, so we've got them. Some Levi's, some Rohan, some All Saints, two Hugo Boss, some Ralph Lauren, Lauren, sorry, Sophie. Uh, that, is that a vintage Nike one? Not sure. Nike jumper. Football shirt. No idea who the badge is. And those are jeans. North Face t-shirt. Quite a nice print on it. So, yeah. Oh yeah, he found this Hush as well. I think it's women's. I was gutted because I would love to have found this. Uh, Hush jumper. I think it's women's. It's very oversized. I don't know if they do men's or not. That's why I think it's women's. It could be a man's. Uh, yeah, I paid £6 for that one. I think it's got some nice some nice fabric content in there as well. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, time to crack on with all this work now. Thank you for watching and I will speak to you again soon.